Hi, I'm Brick Aramella and today we're going to talk about which photography bag you should choose. Alright, so basically there are three types of bags. You have your on-location bag, your luggage bag, and then you have your hybrid bag, which is a combination of the first two. So an on-location bag is a bag that has nice straps, usually backpack style, that you can carry around easily, um, go off the beaten path. I prefer the Low Pro Mini Trekker Classic. Um, I can fit a ton of gear in here and it's easy to carry around. I can just strap it on and walk around with it no problem. The second bag is, is a luggage bag. Now this bag should be big enough that you can fit all your gear in. I prefer the Think Tank International V 2.0 because it has wheels so I can roll it. It also uh, is small enough that I can carry it on, but big enough that I can fit um, pretty much all my gear on. All right, so the third bag is a hybrid of the first two. It should be big enough that you can fit a lot of gear on, but you should also be able to uh, carry it with you on a shoe. I prefer the Low Pro CompuTrekker AW. This bag I bought about nine years ago. It's been all over the world with me. It's an amazing, amazing bag. Um, very sturdy. I can fit my 15 or 17 inch laptop in to the side with the side pocket. And um, it has a lot of compartments. I can fit all my stuff in there. So it's an, I highly recommend that bag. There's two more bags I want to talk about. If you have really expensive gear or you're going to be traveling where your gear is going to be, might be damaged because it's moving around a lot, you might want to get a Pelican case. The Pelican cases are very expensive, but um, they're pretty much bulletproof. You can run over them with a car and they'll be fine. All right, so the last type of bag I'd like to talk about is waterproof bags. If you're going to be in an area where there's a lot of rain, or you're going to be on a boat or somewhere where there's a um, large body of water where your camera gear might get wet, you might want to consider getting the Low Pro uh, Dry Zone 200. It's an excellent bag for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video and will help you find the right camera bag. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe below. Thanks a lot.